Hey guys, a long time no see. I'm so sorry I haven't been filming lately. I've just been, I don't know, I haven't really been busy because it's summertime, but I have been flying around a lot, so my schedule, I guess, has been kind of, I guess, hectic, and I just needed some time to relax and just, like, breathe because we've just been, like, going all over the place, like, literally Two days after school got out, we flew to Germany. I stayed there for 10 days and I looked at colleges and universities, checked those out, visited my friends that I haven't seen in so long, and I also just got to spend time with people that, yeah, I just haven't seen in a long time, so yeah. But then after that, we flew back to Japan and then um, stayed there overnight and then we flew t from Japan to Texas, from Texas to Mobile, Alabama, and we visited my dad's side of the family. We stayed there for a about a week, and we had a family reunion, and I was so happy about that. I got to meet family members that I've never met before, and I just got to see a lot of family that I haven't seen in a long time because... I think the last time I saw my dad's side of the family was seven, seven or eight years ago when I actually first moved to Japan. So it's been a really long time and so I was really excited to just go see everybody and stuff. And I'm actually the reason why we had our family union because I was like, Dad, why don't we see your side of the family anymore? Like, what the heck? There's something wrong with that. So that's how that all got started so yeah but um after Mobile Alabama we flew back to Texas um stayed there overnight and we visited one of my mom's friends from that she taught in high school um and we got to see her and so that was really fun we did a little shopping and I got some stuff from Steinmart and I've never been to a Steinmart and it was actually pretty cool so yeah, I actually got this fairy light thing from Steinmart and it has the little clips for the pictures on it. I got these erase your face makeup removing claws from Steinmart. They are so cool. They're like the um, makeup eraser cloth, but like they're cheaper and it came in a box and there were four different colors. There were like in one box, there was blue, pink, black, and purple. And um, I think that all together was like $12.99 or something, but like that was a really good deal and they actually work. Like I, if you go on my Instagram, I actually, I'll have it down below. It, I'll have it right here so you guys can go check it out. Make sure you go follow me. But um, I did like a first time like review, testing it out and stuff with you guys. And, like, I, it actually worked. Like, I was rubbing it on my face and taking off the makeup. And, like, it m took off my makeup. And then I just wanted to take a makeup wipe and go over my face just to see if anything else was left over. And, like, nothing came off. Like, it the, the cloth took everything off. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, this is great. Because then I don't have to go to the store and buy any more makeup wipes. So, yeah. But, um, anyways, um, the purpose of this video was I was at Hobby Lobby one day with my mom and we were shopping around and we were in the ribbon section and, like, I got the idea that it would be so cute if, like, we made, um, little ribbons with hair ties for, like, our volleyball team for next season because, like, you always see like the cheerleaders and stuff they have like those ribbons and stuff but I, I wouldn't want it to be that big so like I picked out some ribbon from Hobby Lobby and then my mom found this um, volleyball ribbon volleyball print ribbon at Michael's and um, Michael's craft store and so we got ribbon and then I just got a whole bunch of hair ties today and I'm gonna show you guys how to make these really cute just like ribbons and they have like the print on them and just like hair ties and you can just put them in your hair here I'll show y'all 
But yeah, and then you have like these really cute ribbons for when you play. And they won't like get all over the place when you're doing stuff because like they're, it's like they're part of your hair. So they're like kind of laying with your hair and stuff. So yeah. But um, that's what it looks like. And I think with the ones that I'm going to make for my teammates, I'm going to try and do like a little tiny bow right here and then let the rest fall down. So yeah, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that and without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this is what you guys are going to need. You're going to need a pair of scissors, some hair ties, uh, measuring something to measure your um, ribbon with some string or thread and a needle I have a thick needle because you're gonna need it to go through the um, hair ties and um, just the ribbon that you want to use I have this um, volleyball this volleyball printed ribbon right here I have a red ribbon, I have a white ribbon, and I have this black kind of see-through sparkly ribbon because, um, and I have these colors because our colors are red, white, and black, and we're the red devils. So, um, this white ribbon actually is, uh, has, I don't know if you can see, like, let me open this. So it has little ruffles. It's on it. So it has that. And then, as you already know, the black is already kind of see through and it has like some sparkles in it. So, yeah. And the red ribbon is just plain, simple red ribbon. Nothing special. No siding. I don't know. If that's what you would call it? Siding? I don't think so. It's just plain red ribbon. And then the volleyball ribbon, just kind of like the red ribbon, no special um, edging or anything like that, just has the volleyball print on it. So, yeah. But what you're going to want to do, let's, um, I'm going to cut this. Got that, and then these are like the cheap kind of hair ties, but they should work for this because, yeah. So you'll have your hair tie, and just have your measuring thing laid out right in front of you, and set aside your str your thread and needle because you won't need that right now but um the first ribbon you're going to start off with is your thickest ribbon and take your scissors and just lay it out it should be about 22 22 inches and just cut that and then you're going to take your second thickest ribbon and make that two inches shorter so 20 inches Set that aside and get your next thickest ribbon, two inches shorter, so 18 inches, cut it, and then the last ribbon, two inches shorter, so that's 16, and cut it. Now for my very last ribbon, it's the black ribbon, I'm going to be tying that into a bow. So what you're going to do is you're going to tie it once make sure it's evened out on each side so there's enough ribbon so that should be good you're in a loop loop on each side make it kind of go long and then do the bunny ear tie And there's your bow. There's that. And we'll set that aside. And over here with the hair tie. And then you're going to take your 
three leftover ribbons and then space them out on top of each other so that the ends are even on each side like that and then just layer it and then what you're going to do is you're going to find the middle and place the bow right on there so like so and then you're going to take your needle thread and get it ready okay so you can keep it all together go into the middle of the bow and then into the middle of the ribbons like so I'm just gonna pull the thread all the way through and then you're gonna go back up into it and you're gonna go around and fold it so you have it flat and then you're going to take the edges of the three ribbons fold them together hot dog style right where the bow is at and then you're going to go back around to the same side and go straight through again And you're just going to keep going lower and lower until you get to the end. So it'll look like that. So it looks like that once you've got it all sewn together. And then you're going to take your hair tie, or right behind it. You're going to take the needle, put it straight through the hair tie, like so. And then put the needle through the middle, right below the bow like so you're going to pull the thread through and repeat and do that one more time just to make sure that it stays secure and once you've done that just make sure you cut off all the excess thread and tie it off and then it should be finished so this is what it looks like it's really cute and I'm just gonna wait you have you can what you can do is you can already have your hair up in your hair tie and then just go in with this one like so And it'll just look like this. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you didn't already notice, I actually painted my room here in Boise. It used to be that really bright turquoise blue and now it's gray. So yay! <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you go check out my Instagram. That's where I post a lot of my makeup looks and um, maybe every once in a while like I did in my last post, I posted a review. And so make sure you just go check it out make sure you follow it and just yeah and um hopefully i will start making more videos now that i am on summer vacation and i'm not going to be flying anywhere for a very very long time um well not a very very long time but for a while so yeah but um make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!